Hey y'all, I'm gonna try to record this video before AJ goes to bed. His bedtime is in a little while. I'm looking forward to it because I so need to relax. <laughs> so need to relax. AJ, say hey. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to, well, I'm going to talk about um, my favorite baby items. Yeah, mama. <sighs> yeah. Oh, he just, AJ just left me so he can go exercise with Smart Cat. Let's go watch him. Yay, good job. You give me five? High five. All right. All right, so the first item I'm going to talk about is AJ's rocking chair. Um, Turn some light on. I like the rocking chair because it can grow with him or it grows with him. All right, so this is his chair. And he's been using this chair since he was born. So when he was just a little teeny tiny thing, I'll just put him in here and rock him. Look at him. <laughs> and it has um the little vibration settings there. I don't even think it has batteries in it. We just rock. Rocked it manually. I remember one time I um I <laughs> you walking off. I remember one time I was fixing AJ some dinners when he first started um eating solids, and I made some um barbecue chicken in a crock pot, and I had chopped it up, and I think I fixed some rice and um and some greens, and I was so excited about him trying it. And when I came back in here in the living room, he was in his chair and he was knocked out. And I was like, oh my gosh, he climbed in the chair and went to sleep all on his own. And I thought that was a cute little thing. So I let him sleep a little while, then he woke up and then I gave him gave him the food, and he loved it. I was so happy. And now he had, like he can't eat meat, like he'll eat it, but he'll sit there and chew on it for like two hours. It's like an hour later, and he walks up to you. You're like, "What do you have in your mouth, AJ?" And it's a piece of meat still. He's still sitting there chewing on it. So, yeah. So the chair, um can uh, basically grow with the kid so it rocks and it also has these little things that you can slide down so that way it just sits stable like a chair so then he can just get in it and sit down and watch TV if he wants right now he wants to rock there you go gonna rock what well, goodness <laughs> And you can, of course, lift this part up so that he's sitting up and not laying back. Yep, you see that? So that's why I love that one because I want to get um, a little bouncy seat for him. But when I was putting together his um, his registry. I saw that one and I was like, you know what, I kind of like that because even when he gets a little bit bigger and a toddler or whatnot, he can still use it. So, yeah, that's why I like it. AJ, you bring your push toy over here? My other favorite <laughs> item that I like, he just flopped down in the chair again, is um his push toy. 
I like that because, um, well, Walker, Push Walker, whatever it's called. Um, I like that because it really came in handy when he was starting to stand up and walk and kind of like give him that confidence to walk on his on his own and um, him actually practicing taking steps but still having something to hold on and then all the while he's sitting there playing and it's got like you know all the little cool educational stuff on it and I'm all about the educational stuff <laughs> go over there bring me that toy you see it right there Right there. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about, Mom? Now, you know I didn't point over there. Over there. Right there. <laughs> you going to make Mommy get up. Can you bring this? That's your push toy. Bring it over here. And the only reason why he's still playing with that is because he saw it upstairs when he took him upstairs one time. And then he all of a sudden wanted to play with it again. But it was upstairs because he really didn't need it any. Well, he... he doesn't need it anymore because he can walk and run perfectly fine but he's gonna demonstrate for us so AJ is demonstrating the push walker I love this I like it better than like the um you know the walkers that you sit in because we had got one of those for AJ too and it was okay but he wouldn't really he wouldn't really cooperate in it but I like this one because he's free to like just move around and get up and move when he wants and not feel like he's just trapped in something and then, and then get stuck. <laughs> so this one he can move as he please and then he's got um, the little things to play with on the front. AJ, can I see? Can I see? Give it here. Let me see. Oh, oh, look at, oh, the strong big boy. Thank you. Thank you. So you got this little rolling ball. And the music. And the little thing talking. It encourages the baby to walk. So right here we got numbers. So we got numbers, and then when you flip it, you got the ABCs. <laughs> Stop, AJ. <laughs> All right, so then you got this little thing here, and then this little thing there. And then this giant, what are you doing, boy? And then this giant switch here. Great way for him to practice flipping the um, light switch on and off. So, yeah. So, that's the walker that I absolutely love. Look at this boy. AJ, what do you want to show next? Huh? <laughs> what do you want to show next? You want to show your pillow? Yes, let's show your pillow. Come on. Now the pillow he got as a gift and we love the pillow. Can we lay it down? So there's the pillow. We've been using this pillow since AJ came home from the hospital.
and we were basically using this um, to let him sleep in at first. He was just so cozy in it. And so snugly in his pillow. AJ, you want to sit down in your pillow? Hey. Want to sit in the pillow? Lay down in the pillow. <laughs> All right. All right, kick back and watch some wild cracks. <laughs> and I remember when he used to just sit, used to fit like just right there in a the little hole. And now he, he, he just stretches across the whole thing. Yeah, you getting comfy? You getting comfy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. All right, AJ, what are we going to show next? Huh? What are we going to show next? I know what we can show. You want to show your car? You want to show your car? Huh? Let's show your car. Dada. Now, I like the car because um, it doesn't move, but it's something for him to just sit and play in. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was neat. I'm trying to find the light switch. Been in this house for years and still don't know where the light switches are. Come on. Let's show your car. Um, well, before we talk about the car, let me just talk about this gate here. This is another favorite item that I love. So that way I have a place to designate as AJ's play area and not have to worry about toys all over the house even though toys still get all over the house but it's not bad though all right you gonna show your car so it sings so it sings plays music So you got a key here. Turn the car on. Turn the car off. <laughs> so turn it on. <laughs> and then you got the radio stations here. <laughs> and then when you drive in. You got your signals, that signal, <laughs> and then right here are the different places. So you got the market, looks like home, um, the farm, and the zoo. So, so right now that's doing the signal. Oh, and it's got levels. So there's level one, two, and three. Level one, let's have some fun. So that's going home. Going to the farm. Going to the zoo. To the market. And it just starts back over. So then we got our horn. And it says horn. Hmm? Oh, and then the gears right here. Up and down. Down. Alright, so then level two. Level two. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, isn't he just cute in it? <laughs> so he'll sit in there pretend like he's driving. He's got his little gas tank here. It doesn't. Okay, you're walking out. Walk out. 
look at me. He closes the door. <laughs> so he's got his little gas tank here, and it just makes a little fun noise for him to play with. And then he's got the balls here that go, and they just something to play with also inside the door there's um, blocks the little shapes so basically you put them in like that so they practice working with the shapes so pretty neat it's a lot of learning stuff and like I said that's what I like I like toys that um, promote learning and that are educational AJ, you gonna dance? Gonna dance? You gonna dance? You're not gonna dance? You gonna, oh, you gonna climb over here? You gonna climb over here? Yeah. <laughs> He's starting to be a little clingy, so I think it's. He getting a little ready for bed. You getting ready for bed? You getting sleepy? Where are you gonna drive? Gonna drive to the store? Nope, you're gonna get out. You gonna get out? You're not gonna drive? <laughs> you gonna wave bye bye? Bye bye. And he's off. <laughs> the last item that um that I absolutely love is AJ's playmat. Um it's put up in his closet right now, but um it comes with a little piano. So it's like, okay, so you lay the baby on the mat and it has a little thing that arches over for that that hangs down for them to play with the little toys that hang down. But then at the foot of it, it has the piano. And um, the piano is actually in my room. So when AJ, when I have him in there, like if I'm in the room, whatnot, um, <laughs> relaxing, watching TV, and he's with me, or with the both of us, he has something to play with. So that's in there. So he still plays with the piano. And that's why I like that. Because it gives the baby something to like kick or whatnot. And then plus as they grow, they got something that they can continue to play with. And like I said, I like I like toys that um are educational, that promote learning, and I also like toys that grow with the kid. <laughs> so things that they can use when they're, you know, newborns all the way up until, you know, they're, you know, preschoolers. So things like that I love because it'll last you and you don't have to like use it for just a few months and then oh can't use it anymore. So I like that. AJ you gonna say beep beep? AJ, you ready for some dinner so you can go to bed? You ready to eat? AJ, you ready to eat, eat? Oh, then he's got a basketball goal over here that keeps talking. <laughs> so that's the basketball goal. I think I have more fun with this thing than he does. All right, five. All right. Slam dunk. 
All right. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, you're going to shoot all the balls in there. Uh-oh. AJ, you gonna be my little basketball player? AJ, you gonna be my little basketball player? Yes? Yes, you gonna be my basketball player? Oh. Gonna shoot the football too. Yeah. All right, AJ, come on, let's go eat. Let's go eat. This is the piano that goes with the um the little play mat. <laughs> that your piano? All right, seriously, for real, let's go eat now. sandwich and um some snacks to go with it for his dinner he's got the broom right now <laughs> sleep on the floor are you sweeping okay don't don't do that sweep the floor sweep the floor <laughs> Go, yeah, go back and sweep the floor. There you go. No, not in my towels. Sweep the floor. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to fix him um, a sandwich with um, some snacks. And I just put a little bit of um, peanut butter to um, cover the bread because I don't want it too thick. Because I love peanut butter and jelly. AJ, seriously. I love peanut butter and jelly. But um, even I get choked from peanut butter. <laughs> If it's too much, or if I take, um, if I swallow too much at a time. My first year teaching, um, I used to get those peanut butter sandwiches that come in the box. And, um, you had to thaw them out and then eat them. And so, <laughs> I had this bad habit of just eating in class. Um, and so I was sitting there eating my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and... I got choked on one. 
And all my students did was sit there and laugh at me. Nobody came to my rescue. No one came to help me. They just laughed. And I was like, really, y'all? I'm sitting here choking and y'all laughing. And they was like, well, that's what you get for eating in front of us. I am, <laughs> as you can see, basically out of my strawberry spread. I like this kind. I like this better than the um, the jelly because the jelly has high fructose corn syrup. Yes, I am one of those parents. Um, <laughs> for one, high fructose corn syrup. Like y'all seen the commercial where the two moms are talking, and I'm sitting here swinging this knife. But um. One is, um, one of the moms, she's talking about whatever food it is that they're talking about or they're discussing, discussing or whatever. And so then the other mom is like, well, you know, it has high fructose corn syrup in it. You know what they say about high fructose corn syrup. And then the other mom is like, what? That it's made from corn? And so she just basically just comes and like attacks her um defending high fructose corn syrup and basically i felt like if i was that other mom i would have been like hold up for one high fructose corn syrup is um uh genetically modified so that that's problem number one and then i mean it's, it's nothing but sugar and and y'all <laughs> Some of y'all may be able to give your kids sugar with no problem, but mine, uh-uh. I'm getting to the point where sugar is like, uh-uh. So, I like this kind. It's the, um, the Welch's Natural Spread, and it's strawberry, because I love the strawberry flavor. When I used to get the little frozen um, <laughs> um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I always got the the peanut butter. I mean, the peanut butter. I always got the the strawberry. AJ's trying to dump trash in the trash can with the broom, even though there's no trash. And he just shoved the broom in the trash can. AJ, you got to take that out, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Finish sweeping the floor. So, yeah, so now I'm going to, um, I'm going to chop his sandwich up. You got, oh, you're going to pull the mop out now. Okay. All right, so when I'm chopping AJ's sandwiches, I like to use the knobs that are curved. If you can see, you probably can see it up against my shirt, but it has a little curve to it so that way when i'm chopping the sandwich all i gotta do is just go like that and voila the crust is cut off and i don't necessarily have to um chop the crust off of his because he'll eat all of it but um it makes the pieces easy i'm not gonna chop the crust off tonight he's gonna eat all of it tonight but um it just makes it easier to um chop the sandwich up and have a smooth cut and it not just be messy because I don't like I don't like messes like just stuff messy everywhere uh -oh, did I get in your way I'm sorry so I'm going to use this little tray and I'm going to chop the sandwich in half and then chop that half in half. And then I'm going to chop that part. And I'm just going to mush it down a little bit to help it be less messy when I cut it. And then cut it in threes. So basically he ends up with um, 12 pieces, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
So then I put this in the big part of his plate. Mmm. Mmm. Is mommy fixing your food? Okay. Mommy fixing your food? Yeah. 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 All right. So that'll be the main part. So then. I'm gonna give him a little bit of um, cranberries. The cranberries are actually for me, but he likes them so much. I can't ever eat them in peace. So I'm gonna give him like just a little bit, just to give him a little um, serving of fruit. And then, And then I'm gonna give him um, a little bit of um, graham crackers. These are organic Annie's brand. I really like that brand. I got some really good stuff and it's all organic. And I'm just gonna give him a little bit because he'll actually sit here and eat the graham crackers and, ooh, y'all I'm out of breath. He'll just sit there and eat the graham crackers and the cranberries and nothing else. So I'm just gonna give him a little bit. So there's his food. So he's got his sandwich, peanut butter, and strawberry um, spread. Um, cranberries and some graham crackers. He may not even eat all, all of this, but he's gonna eat until he's, <laughs> until he's full, until he's full. Then I'll change his diaper, give him his milk, get him ready for bed. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Huh? Are you ready to eat? Look, that looks good. Does that look good? That, oh, you want the cranberries. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go eat. Yeah, eat, eat. Eat, eat. All settled and enjoying his dinner. Typically, y'all, I don't give that to him for his dinner. I um usually fix something like this for his lunch, but when I run out of dinner ideas, <laughs> I have to just do what and <laughs> do what I can. And so tonight, it's peanut butter and jelly and graham crackers and cranberries. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Wild crats are still on. Y'all, I'm loving this ETV um, Kids or PBS Kids. What is it? PBS Kids channel. So we get to watch the PBS cartoons and shows all day. Because, yes, I'm very big on educational toys, and I'm very big on educational TV. <laughs> so, while he eats, I'm going to start straightening things up. So, that way, by the time I put him in bed, I don't have to worry about cleaning up. And all I have to do is just <sighs> go and enjoy me a nice warm bubble bath. Yay! <laughs> So while he's sitting over there eating all peacefully, I'm gonna <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go ahead and um tidy up and fix me something to eat. So when I get him down, I can eat and relax. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> See how he just killed them cranberries. <laughs> Um, there is one more favorite item that I actually almost forgot to mention, and that's the, um, baby scale. Um, if you're like me and <laughs> you can't, basically you can't sit still and wait for stuff, um, which is why I got the, um, the scale, 
was because I couldn't wait until AJ's next appointments to find out like how much he weighed and everything. And I was always so concerned about um, his weight and making sure that he was, you know, um, at a good weight. And then with him breastfeeding and me not sure um, if he was actually, you know, getting enough, which I think that's like a popular or common concern for um, nursing moms. But I got the scale so that way I could um, keep up with his weight. So it's real easy to use. As you can see, I got it from Babies Are Us. And you just hold the button down to turn it, turn it on. And... Oh, I had my hand on it. <laughs> so, you got the basket here to put the baby in. And you just lay the baby in it and it checks... the baby's weight and the thing I like about it is that once the baby gets bigger you can um take this off and they can just stand on it like a regular scale um the only question that I have um is basically what are some things that um you all have that are your i told y'all aj like messing with that thing <laughs> what are some um so what are some of your favorite baby items that you have or you've used um that really like came in handy and someone else could definitely use i'm always open for some new ideas and some new things to try that's definitely helpful so, yeah. All of you super moms out there, I really just want to encourage you and just keep doing what you're doing. Um, whether you have one child or five or ten or <laughs> fifteen um, and you're still surviving, <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing. Be glad that you do what you do and be proud that you do what you do. And... I think what we all should do after this video is we should all just go out and treat ourselves to something. I have a feeling that I kind of want um, a hot fudge sundae. Yeah. <laughs> I really just want to just encourage all of you super moms and even you um, moms to be and those that plan to be moms in the future. Just know that it is a wonderful thing. Shout out to all my super moms. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. And let's just, just keep being good moms. And sharing with each other. And growing with each other. And helping each other out. And just encouraging each other. And just, just being the super moms that we are. Just naturally strong. Even when we don't feel like we are. But we're still surviving, so we are. So, y'all be encouraged and be proud of your role.